Hello guys, this is me Vikram Adhikari and I would like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Today, I will be showing you solution to a problem that I have faced in past few weeks. My problem was, I had to create a bar chart showing the prevalence of depressive symptoms, anxiety and stress symptoms and its subcategories along with their confidence interval in a single bar chart. I explored all over the internet and I found a solution and that I will be sharing through this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, first of all, I will show you how to create the bar chart. Second, I will show you how to add confidence interval in that bar chart. And then I will show you to make that bar chart slick. Now let's begin. First of all, let's understand what is over here in this axis sheet. Here, this is the prevalence of overall depression, anxiety symptoms, and stress symptoms. The confidence interval around this prevalence is over here. This column refers to the prevalence of mild depressive symptoms, mild anxiety symptoms, and mild stress symptoms. And the confidence interval around this is present over here. And this column refers to the prevalence of moderate depressive symptoms, moderate anxiety symptoms, and moderate stress symptoms. And this column refers to the confidence interval around prevalence of moderate depression, anxiety, and stress symptoms. And this column refers to the prevalence of severe depressive symptoms, anxiety symptoms, and stress symptoms. And these two columns refers to the confidence interval around uh, the severe symptoms. And similarly, this column shows the prevalence of extremely severe depressive symptoms, anxiety, and stress symptoms. And this refers to the confidence interval around uh, the extremely severe prevalence. Here, U and L in each uh, column refers to upper and lower limit of each confidence interval. Now, let's plot a bar chart for the point prevalence. Here, I'd like to select the point prevalence of depression, anxiety, and stress symptoms and their categories. After selecting this, go to insert, then go to bar, and then go to 2D column. Here is the bar chart. Here, depressive symptoms, anxiety, and stress symptoms, this should be in the x-axis. But here, it is not in the way that I have told. So, what I am doing now is changing and keeping this depression, anxiety, and stress in the x-axis. In order to do that, go to switch row on column. It, this is what we wanted. Here, this bar chart is raw and we will be editing this bar chart uh, with the progression of this video tutorial. Now, I will be adding the confidence interval to these columns. In order to add confidence interval to this column, you need to find the distance of upper and lower limits of confidence interval from the point estimate. I am generating some columns over here in order to find the difference of each of these from upper and lower limits of confidence interval. In this first column, it is the distance between overall prevalence and the upper limit. Here I'm finding out the difference upper limit minus the point prevalence of overall. Next column, overall prevalence minus lower limit of overall prevalence. Third column, mild upper limit of mild prevalence minus mild prevalence. This column, mild prevalence minus lower limit of mild prevalence. Next column is upper limit of moderate prevalence minus moderate prevalence. Next column is moderate prevalence minus 
lower limit of boundary of lines. This one is upper limit of CB of lines minus CB of lines. This one is CB of lines minus lower limit of CB of lines. Next is extremely severe to balance minus, sorry, um, extremely upper limit of extremely severe to balance minus extremely severe to balance. Next is extremely severe to balance minus low limit of extremely severe to balance. Now I like to copy this cells into next three rows in order to find the difference of upper and lower limit of confidence interval for each of these categories for depressive symptoms and the identity stress symptoms. And here is the differences. Now let's add this to our bar chart. First of all, go to depressive symptoms overall column. Select this overall column first. Now, let's add confidence interval to this bar chart. First of all, select overall column. And then, go to plus sign over here. And then select either bar. And go to this option over here. And then more options. Once you get there, then go to costume over here. And then specify the value. The positive error value. Just click over here and then select this one. Point from upper limit to point prevalence. This is our positive value. Then enter OK. The next is from point prevalence to lower limit of confidence interval. It is negative. Select this. Now, okay, we have done with the overall prevalence. Let's go to mild prevalence. Then similarly, mild prevalence, go to plus sign, then either bar, more options, costume, specify, upper limit is this one. Lower limit is this one. Okay. We have added confidence interval to this bar chart. Now, let's make it this bar chart clear and fine. Let's remove the horizontal line by clicking delete key. And then let's add vertical line to this bar chart. In order to do so, select this number over here and then go to solid line. Here in the line section, go to solid line and then select the color over here. I'm selecting black color. The line is already done. Now let's select uh, the x axis and go to again line, line, and then solid line and select the color, color to black. Now the color is also added. Uh, let's add uh, ticks in this y axis. In order to do that, select this uh, y axis and then go to this option, access options. First of all, select this column and then go to select this 
to access then go to access option and then here and access option there is tick marks just select tick marks to outside once you add this then tick mark is added in the y axis now go to access option and set up the minimum and maximum value if uh, needed any okay and then now let's change uh, here the, these uh, the columns are far apart let's make them close okay in order to do that select this column one of the column select the column then go to this section series options and then reduce the gap width between uh, these categories and then series overlap if you increase the series, series overlap to some point uh, let's say I'm setting this to I'm reducing the series gap I think let's keep it zero percent. Zero percent. Okay, they are. It is done. Now let's add data level to this, to this bar, to this bar chart. Go to plus sign over here, and then add data label. Double click on each data, and then. Keep them out of line again. Okay? Once we have done this, then uh, let's add this uh, levels at the top of this bar chart. So select this and then go to this option over here and keep this at the top. There is no levels to y axis, so let's select this and go to plus sign over here and then add axis titles. Once you add this access title, then add here. Let's remove this uh, access title from here. Now let's increase, let's uh, format the text over here. Uh, I'm selecting this and changing the uh, text to Times New Roman. And I'm also changing the color, color and uh, I'm making them bold and I'm changing the color to black. Let's make it Times New Roman and then make it black, bold. Let's make it Times New Roman, black and bold. Okay, uh, let's change the label also. Make it black, bold, and change it to Times New Roman. Okay. Here we have created bar chart for prevalence showing the confidence interval around each point estimate and we have uh, make this bar chart clean and tidy also thank you for watching this video tutorial if you have any queries if you require any support then please don't forget to comment share and subscribe my youtube channel